Hey, this is David Benjamin, a.k.a. David the Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. Check out the website, there you go. AcneEracingSecrets.com. In this video today, I'm going to talk about genetically modified foods and how genetically modified foods could be potentially causing your acne. Now, you're probably wondering, if you don't already know, what is a genetically modified food? Often, uh, you'll see it online as a GMO. It's, it's a genetically modified food. It's abbreviated, or it short, shortens to GMO, or GM foods, so genetically modified foods. So GM foods, GMO foods, it all means genetically modified foods. And basically, to describe what genetically modified foods are, is if I was a scientist, and I took a food, and I took the seed of that food, and I went into a lab, say it's a soy, or corn, or canola, and I went into a lab, and I genetically spliced it, meaning I split it open, and I genetically altered it to change traits within that plant, meaning to change the way it would be in nature, I'm genetically altering, I'm genetically modifying that seed, which genetically modifies the food. Now, they tell you that genetically modified foods are good for you, this and that, and all this kind of... BS and you know the, our genetically modified foods are going to be more nutritious and this and that. The problem is if you look into genetically modified foods and you do the research on big companies like Monsanto, you'll find that these foods are full of error basically. So what I mean by that is the foods are genetically different than our bodies are used to. Just like if I'm eating a processed uh, cake or cookie or uh, you know soda or, you know, things, things that aren't natural in a sense. If I'm eating those things, my body doesn't know how to deal with that. It tries to digest it, it uses enzymes and good bacteria and beneficial flora and natural acids and all these different things to digest it and get what nutrients it can out of it. But a genetically modified food is pretty much the same because your body isn't used to something that's not genetically correct. It's not It's not natural. It recognizes it as foreign in a sense. So, and the other interesting thing is they create genetically modified foods uh, with some of them. They create with pesticides and things like that within the seed so that the plant... I'm not making this up. They make it so that the plant grows and it will resist pests. But they put a pesticide within the seed of the plant. Think about this for a minute. A pesticide is poison. You can't drink pesticide, you can't eat pesticide, yet they put it within the seed. That's even worse than spraying pesticide on the plants. Because when you spray it on the plants, at least some of it falls off into the into the dirt and into the sand and it gets washed off by rain and, and the watering process and things like that. But they actually put pesticides within the seed. So not only is the seed genetically different than what it would be in nature, so your body doesn't recognize it and know how to deal with it and digest it as well, there may be pesticides herbicides, fungicides, and different things spliced into the seed of that plant, of that crop, and you're now eating that. So if you are familiar with Roundup, it's a weed killer, The uh, Monsanto also sells that. Some of their seeds are made for Roundup so that they can sell the seeds, and then they sell the Roundup because the seeds match the Roundup, so they make a ton of money, but the food that we eat from that is completely horrible and not good for our health at all. So from some of the recent research I've done and found uh, by watching actually a documentary called Genetic Roulette, I've found that genetically modified foods can often be linked to allergies. It's very, very, very common. So if you have any allergies, be very cautious of genetically modified, it's gen genetically modified foods. The most common genetically modified foods are wheat, canola, corn, and soy. Those are very common genetically modified foods. There can be a lot of genetically modified foods, but wheat, canola, corn, and soy are often genetically modified. Probably 80 to 90 percent of those crops are genetically modified. So really it's best to stay away from those crops if you don't know, unless you know that it's organic overall. Um, soy also mimics estrogen in the body, and that can cause hormonal yo-yoing and imbalances, so I, don't, I wouldn't mess with soy at all, even if it is non-GMO. But you really want to avoid genetically modified foods, because your allergies, if you do have allergies, those allergies could be linked to creating acne, or the genetically modified foods are just causing inflammation, uh, digestive issues, uh, confusion within your body that causes inflammation, that causes redness of the skin, that causes breakouts. So genetically modified foods could be contributing to your acne breakouts, to your skincare problems overall, whatever your skincare problems may be. 
uh, or if you have any allergies, it could be linked to that as well. So I would highly recommend avoiding genetically modified foods. I also recommend you look up uh, how to support the labeling of genetically modified foods because we as consumers should know what we're eating and if it's affecting our health, our skin, uh, it's, it affects much more than our skin, it affects our overall health, longevity, and vitality of life. It's actually affecting fertility. They did a, a study with rats, with lab rats, and the rats had tumors all over their bodies when they were fed genetically modified foods. This is just recent research now being released. If you watch the movie, look up Genetic Roulette. You can learn all about it within that documentary. It's really interesting stuff. A lot of stuff to learn in this space. And I'm surprised I haven't made a uh, video about genetically modified foods yet, so I recommend staying away from them. The kind of, if I were to make a chart of this, I would recommend organic food, first and foremost, organic, local, from a farm market, uh, CSA, Harvest, uh, I believe .org is a great website for finding local farmers, local farmers markets, things like that are great, your local farm. Uh, that's the best, organic. Second best would be traditionally grown conventional produce, you know, use of pesticides and herbicides. Obviously, that sounds good organic, but it's better than GMO, genetically modified foods. So organic, then conventionally grown, then uh, uh, genetically modified. And the only way you can tell if something's genetically modified right now is the code on the produce. Uh, you'll see a, it's like a four-digit code. You'll see the little stickers on apples, bananas, avocados, and things like that. The code is a different number for conventional and for organic and for genetically modified. So go online and Google what the different codes mean, what they are, so when you're shopping, uh, you and your family and your friends can be aware of whether you're buying organic, conventional, or genetically modified produce. So hopefully this video helped you out some. Look up genetically modified foods, get educated, don't eat corn, soy, wheat, canola. Uh, those are typically genetically modified and make sure to stay away from genetically modified foods overall and uh, support your local organic farmers. It's the healthiest food, it's the cheapest for your health now and in the long run and it could be affecting your acne, your skin breakouts and things like that. This is David Benjamin, David the Skin King, whatever you want to call me, from AcneRacingSecrets.com. Make sure to pick up your free copy of The Secret Acne Cleanse in the description below. Like this video by hitting a thumbs up if you learned something new, which I sure hope you did because this has taken me a while to learn a lot about these genetically modified foods. And uh, subscribe, like, favorite, comment, share, leave your comments below. Grab your free copy of the ebook in the description if you haven't already. It's my free gift to you. Please take it. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Oh yeah, one more thing. We're clearing the acting the world 1% time, studying with you. I just have to say it, it's my saying. Like, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.